Hello and welcome to these videos about EcoStructure GeoSCADA Expert. GeoSCADA Expert is the remote SCADA and telemetry software from Schneider Electric. My name is Steve and in this video we're going to cover how to build and run a driver development kit driver or DDK driver. A DDK driver might be needed to communicate with a legacy device or create complex calculations or interface with business systems and services, or maybe to develop new protocols outside of the set built into GSCADA Expert. The purpose of this video is to help you get started with driver development. To do this effectively, read and follow the steps in the DDK guide, and you can find this guide by locating its download on the GSCADA Resource Center. Installing the kit will place a documentation file into the start menu and some sample code into the program files folder. After installation, open the start menu and select the PDF link from there. The document will take you through the process of setting up the development environment and adding the code needed to perform database and driver operations. You can also browse for the example projects in program files and then open the help file Framework DDK, which documents the namespaces and classes used by the driver development kit. Your new driver will contain a DLL module, which is loaded by the database, and an executable file, which is run alongside the other drivers, such as Modbus and DNP3. The DLL module defines database functionality, such as the configuration and data fields of your driver, and the exe file performs the communications work of the driver. It's structured this way so that the database cannot easily be adversely affected by the actions of the driver. We're now going to download and build the code for a sample DDK driver. In this instance, we'll use the basic MQTT client driver which is hosted on GitHub and Schneider Electric Exchange. This is not the same driver or MQTT payload functionality as the JSON A driver built into the GeoSCADA product. It has a different structure and is customizable by you. Go to the site github.com forward slash GeoSCADA where there are several drivers and utilities. Find the repository driver basic MQTT client. To understand this driver, follow the link to the Schneider Electric Exchange shop and download the PDF document, which explains how to use it. Either clone the source code or download the driver repository to your local development PC. There is a solution with three projects, the driver DLL, driver XE, and a simple installer. When opened in Visual Studio, you can see the projects, but before you build, you'll need to make some changes. These are to replace the DDK references in the database module DLL and driver XE. In my example here, the location will be different from yours. You'll find it typically in Drive C, Program Files, Schneider Electric, ClearSCADA. Some DDK drivers might also make reference to the clearscada.client library, which you must also replace with your own reference for your install. And note that if you upgrade your GeoSCADA installation to another major version, you'll need to replace and rebuild those references again. There's another change that's related, which is the location of the file copies after the build. These are the automatic file copies that the build process runs. This is only for your convenience and for debug and test, and means that you won't need to use the installer during development. This DDK driver project has a Wix installer project within the solution. Building this will produce a basic installer for the driver, which will place the files in the correct location and also set the registry settings. You might want to use the version numbers in the project to correspond to your driver version and all the version of GeoSCADA for which you built the DDK driver. There are also build version support and update information properties for you to customize. Populating 
these properties is essential and clearing them will stop your driver from loading. This will be indicated by a bad version error in the server status tool. The version numbers in the file here are used to report the driver version in the server status tool available from the GeoScada server icon. Once built, you can either use the installer to set registry settings to enable the driver to run or enter them directly into the registry. You'll need as a minimum the assembly name, which is a path to your DLL, and the task name, the name of your EXE file. The setting debug mode is used to prevent the GeoScada server from automatically running the driver on startup. Changing it to true will enable you to run the driver from the debugger. When false, the server will manage the start, restart and stop of your driver process. When you start GeoScada, the server will load the DLL. You can check for a successful load by searching the database startup log for your driver name. Open the log by right-clicking the server icon and selecting the log file entry. If there are other errors, such as database schema problems, they'll also be logged against the driver's name. Now that your driver's running, you can create objects and set their properties. Your new object types will appear in the Create New menu. Here's a recap of the subjects covered this time. Goodbye, and please join me again.